Hi, my name is Christopher and I'm one of the developers for SmartNote and I'm going to be showing you some of the new features in version 1.4. So let's start off with showing you some Dropbox. Um, just click right here. You'll be able to link up your personal Dropbox account and you'll be able to download folders, uh, files and folders that you have inside as well as upload files that are inside of your application directory. Okay. All right. um, one of the other minor features we added is you can now duplicate notebooks directly from the home screen. Just press duplicate here. Save that. And it'll just add it right over here. It's an exact copy of the other notebook. So we're going to just rename this, that way we don't get them mixed up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and password protect this. No, nobody tell anybody that password. Just Right. And I'm going to attempt to open it from the notebooks list. You can see it's not going to work there. Uh, we need to get that bug fixed. All right. I won't be using this notebook for the rest of the demonstration, so I'm going to go ahead and delete it. Now I'm going to show you some of the many things that we added into the settings menu. Let me just pull that up. You can turn your pen smoothing on and off. The auto bookmarking is already there. And so this is one of the new features that I'm going to show you. So let me pull up one of the new toolbars we have, which is the math toolbar. Now, this new method of inserting widgets you're simply going to drag the widget and then when you pick your finger up, uh, let me make that a little bigger so you can see it better. There we go. And as soon as I pick my finger up, it's going to place that. That's going to allow me to add widgets a lot faster than I could before. Go ahead and close that toolbar and go to the page. So that's the new widget insertion and the new toolbar. Alright, uh, let's go back out here. Go ahead and turn that back off. Uh, now I'm going to show you the new mini menu on the bottom. Right. Uh, as you can see, this is a condensed version of the existing menu. And down here in settings, you can also put this menu up on the top of the screen. Uh, that way, your palm doesn't accidentally call up various functions. All right. Uh, in order to demo this last thing in settings, I'm going to open the notebook up. Right. All right, um, so including the existing notebook backgrounds, you can now choose your own background for the home screen. So I'm going to have to turn this to landscape mode, make sure the orientation lock's not on. Get it to turn here. All right. uh, you're now able to draw in landscape. Zoom in a little bit so we can get it fairly precise. There we go. So, as you can see with the menu, landscape is now fully functional. We've modified the two finger dragging to allow you to more easily pan and zoom around. Okay, 
and then we're going to go back up to portrait and then the people that are right handed or left handed you can also move the drawing over to the right side Alright, go ahead and flip that back because I like it on the left. So, I'm going to show you the, one of the new features. Just insert a widget here. Now I'm going to touch and hold just like I normally would. Only now, instead of just delete, I can also move it. So, this allows me to move the widgets I've already inserted. Alright, in addition to that, uh, let me get a little bit of drawing on screen here. You know, something. Okay, you can now move sections of the drawing. I'm just going to click on move drawing here and I'm going to draw a circle over the area I'd like to move and I'm just going to move it up there and I'll just place that. So, okay also we have a recently used menu now within the widget menu. Uh, so widgets you use often, you can access quickly. Okay, I have uh, one more widget here on my list. And it is the push pin. So this is going to put a little pin on the page. And if I click the pin, it's going to pop up with a little note area in which I can take notes. And then as soon as I close it, it goes away. So it allows me to do you know, small annotations and whatnot, but they're not always visible on screen. Go ahead and clear that before we move on to the next feature. All right, this last feature I'm going to demo is one we've been working on 